Hello and welcome to this latest Monaco property profile brought to you by MonacoEstate.com. My name's Graham Rowan and it's my pleasure to introduce you to one of the rarest of all beasts in Monaco. That's a brand new build project. And this is in the really nice sought after area of Jardin Exotique. And the development is creatively enough referred to as L'Exotique. So let's have a look at it. This is a, a couple of apartments that we have that are two bed apartments in the southwest facing corner of the development. And one of the nice things about Jardin Exotique is it's quite an uh, elevated district of Monaco. So you tend to get really good sea views. And here, these two two bedroom apartments are on the corner of the development. And there's a little twist I want to tell you about in a moment that makes them even more interesting. And they're also on the third floor, which further improves the elevation and further improves the views that you're going to get out into the Côte d'Azur. So as you can see from the map here, Jardin Exotique is kind of at the top left of Monaco. It's home to just over 5,000 people, about 14% of the population. And what's nice about it is it has that elevated position with the great views. And also because of the, the gardens themselves, uh, it's a very kind of green area. It's a very uh, lush area. Uh, it's nothing like sort of the more crowded central parts of, say, Monte Carlo. Uh, so quite different, quite unique in its own uh, kind of uh, culture and lifestyle. So you get some idea of the elevation from this shot here. This is a, obviously an artist's impression of what it'll look like from the, the balcony, looking down over some of the other parts of the principality and then out to sea, um, a lovely kind of place to sunbathe in the 300 plus days of sunshine that we get here in Monaco. And also you can get some idea here of how the architects are designing uh, uh, really something appropriate for the Jardin Exotique. You know, there's a lot of greenery, a lot of water features, some carefully selected trees and plants and shrubs that are going to really kind of soften the impact of this new building in its environment uh, and make it a much more pleasant place to live, to, to walk down those pathways and, and just to interact a bit with nature. So they're, they're really given a lot of thought to how they're going to make this building look right within an area called Jardin Exotique. A couple of interior shots just to give you an idea, a bedroom opening out into the terrace there you can see again with the views uh, beyond. Um, on the left, uh, kind of a, how this place will look at night, uh, again very stylish and very, uh, very sort of subtle, very understated and during the day again Wherever you go, there's going to be a lot of greenery, a lot of water features uh, to really uh, uh, make a pleasant living environment. Uh, the, the terrace, obviously, you know, great for alfresco dining, uh, again, with the views. And there's the, the ground floor and the entrance into some of the facilities that will be available within the development to all the residents. Some more interior shots of bedrooms and uh, creative interior design. There's been a top architect on the outside and a top interior designer on the inside that I'll tell you about in a moment. Uh, the two apartments are uh, 3.5 and 3.6. Uh, that's a, a floor plan. Again, obviously uh, uh, not uh, in minute detail at this stage, but you can get some idea of the layout of the uh, bedrooms, the ensuite facilities, the large living dining area and the large terraces because when you've got those kind of views, when you've got this kind of sunshine, you know, the outside really does become an extension of your living area for most of the year. So it's really great to have the, the benefit of significant terraces. So these two apartments, 3.5 and 3.6, the world famous architect Rudy Ricciotti has uh, designed them and you can see why he's designed them in the way he has to try and fit into this uh, exotic environment. And the interiors have been designed by Francois Champsaur. So again, a lot of thought given to all the details, very high quality finishes in this development. So each of those apartments is 180 square meters, just under 2000 square feet. And of that, you've got 126 of covered living space and 54 square meters of terrace. And, and as I say, those terraces really are effectively part of the living area. We've talked about the sea views. You open onto the southwest corner terrace, so you can really kind of live and dine in and out depending on the, the season. Each of the apartments has got two bedrooms and two bathrooms. 
the much coveted parking space, because uh, if, if you know anything about Monaco, you'll know that parking is an absolute nightmare. Uh, these have been designed with parking from scratch, which is very nice compared to some of the older properties where you don't always get that. And of course, a cellar for your wine collection and any uh, valuable things you want to keep in there. They're under development at the moment. Uh, it could be as early as April 2022, but let's just say first half of next year to allow a little bit of leeway for some of the delays that are inevitable after the uh, 18 months we've all just gone through. But here's a little twist I wanted to tell you about. You could buy both these apartments and combine them into one really mega dream home of 360 square meters, nearly 4,000 square feet, of which 250 square meters would be living space inside and over a hundred square meters of sun terrace with those incredible views and of course you'd now have four bedrooms four bathrooms two parking spaces and two cellars so you know this is a obviously uh, changes the budget somewhat as well but it's a very rare opportunity and if you compare these new builds with the ones that are being built on the uh, reclaimed land, it was called Portier Cove, now called Maritera, um, they're, they're actually a bargain in comparison. A um, couple of other shots, the shot of some of the kitchen fittings there, as you can see, very nice uh, high standard of uh, uh, fit and finish and appliances. Another shot of one of the bedrooms there, just going through into the uh, living area. A shot of the whole development, what I was saying about the greenery that just softens it into that background of the Jardin Exotique. Um, and we are on the, the third floor. So as you can see, you've, you've got plenty of uh, terrace and plenty of view out in front of you there. Another shot there coming out of the living area onto the terrace with those sea views. I mean, you can really imagine yourself spending, you know, lunchtime and, and balmy evenings in summer, uh, just enjoying a, a glass of wine and those views uh, of your apartment and perhaps wandering out into uh, Monaco to enjoy some of the nightlife. Uh, his and hers sinks in the uh, in the bathroom there. So what about Jardin Exotique from a lifestyle perspective? Well, it's a more quiet residential district than some of the central parts or some of the uh, parts like La Votto near the beach. So this is a really great location for a family, especially obviously if you wanted to buy both the apartments and merge them together, then you'd have a real family home. Uh, nearby, you've got other outdoor spaces, parks for the children. We've talked about the sea views. The price per square meter here is actually very reasonable compared to some other parts of Monaco, if I can use the word reasonable in the context of Monaco property prices. The only downside really is because you're in that top left of the principality, like I showed you on the map earlier on, you're a little bit distant from the real kind of nightlife and the town center and the casinos and things like that. So there are either buses that will get you there in 10 minutes or of course taxis or anything else that, or electric scooters you could whiz around on these days. So. Jardin Exotique, ideal family place, uh, quiet residential district, if that's what you're looking for. So apartments 3.5 and 3.6 can be acquired individually for an investment of 10.9 million euros or together uh, for 22 million euros. And so that, as I say, works out quite a bit less than certainly some of the other uh, new builds that are available um, and will give you a very large very uh, spacious home. And at this stage, probably still a little bit of chance to influence the uh, interior fit and finish, uh, but you'll need to uh, move uh, fairly quickly if you want to do that. So we can arrange a viewing and take you through all the details of the, uh, the site plan, the floor plans, and how you might want to arrange that. Uh, if you can come to Monaco, Monaco is fully open now. And we can also help you with everything else to do with residency, getting a bank account. If you want a mortgage, we can get you some high net worth mortgages and the whole kind of end to end process of making Monaco your home. If you haven't already downloaded the report on our website, uh, please do that. And if you want to get in touch, just uh, email us on homes at monacoestate.com or go to the website at monacoestate.com and complete the inquiry form there. So uh, I hope you find that interesting. Great to have the potential either to take an individual apartment or to combine the two into one mega home uh, of 360 square meters. That, the opportunity to do that in Monaco very rarely comes up, believe me. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was interesting for you. And I'll talk to you again very soon.